fishing, just fishing, fishing, just fishing. Chicken jerks, chicken jerks, chicken jerks, fish. Chicken jerks, chicken jerks, just fishing. Chicken jerks, chicken jerks, chicken jerks, fish. Chicken jerks, chicken jerks, just fishing. Chicken jerks, chicken jerks, chicken jerks, fish. Chicken jerks, chicken jerks. All right, here we go, guys. A Wednesday, July 15, 2020 fluke trip with my third time returning customer, Gary. And uh, it was redemption of sorts for Gary. He booked a trip with me last September with his two sons. I have that video up. Uh, it was right after a hurricane. The water was brown. We caught no fluke. We salvaged the trip by going for Albies. Not the case this time. Full boat limit of fluke, full boat limit of sea bass. The fluke up to nine pounds. Gary's a true sportsman. He released the nine pounder. Um, we also, um, you know, one of my theories as, as to why the fluking hadn't been great so far in Montauk this year is the lack of bait. We usually see whales and dolphins, and I haven't seen that all year. I haven't seen one whale. I haven't seen any pods of dolphins. And about a third of the way into the trip, uh, we hooked up to a nice sea bass, and when we brought it up, it spit up sand eels. And that was our clue or our cue to uh, start using sand eels on our teasers, and we actually caught a bunch of fluke doing that. Um, you'll also see some more adventures in netting. Uh, I try to self-net uh, a, a nice fluke, and it, it took two or three times. Gary had two fish that actually came out, one right when I netted it, the nine-pounder, which if, if we were you know five seconds later with the net, we probably don't see that fish. And, and then the very last keeper he caught came out of the net and was suspended in uh, in midwater column and i i was able to get it in the net uh yes the sometimes the adventures are good they're not always they're not always bad as always if you like these videos hit that like button and if you're not already a subscriber and you like this type of content please hit that subscribe button oh yep nice no. Feels like a sea bass. Or you know what? Could even be a ling. There you go. Oh, that looks good. Yeah. All right, carry. Coming with the net. Sea bass. Keep her good? Yeah, maybe. It looks good. You got a nice bend in the rod. I don't see the head shakes now. I saw them in the beginning. Yeah, there it is. Okay. Big sea bass. Oh. Yeah, they fool you sometimes when they're this yeah. size. Uh-oh. See, that's a fluke. Yeah, that's a fluke, baby. All right, Carrie. Good one, huh? Yeah. All right. Personal best good? Nah, I don't think so. All right, all right. Let's go with yeah. Yeah, let's go with yeah. I like the head shakes, too. Oh, it's a fluke. And it will pass. Nice job. Nice, nice job. All right. Hey, I'm just glad we found life. And everyone, it is three boats here, but they're way east of us. And I guarantee you they're going to stop their drift short of us. Let's give this guy a measure, but he's going to pass. I got it if I need it. It's gonna be close. I'll net it if I need it. I think it's. 
if it's a keeper it's gonna be like 19. I wouldn't be shocked if it was like the one you brought up. Oh, it's a keeper. Whoa! Come on, John. Ten pounder all over it. <laughs> no, not that bad. It's a barely a keeper, but it's a keeper, I think. Three what? Blue? Uh, you picked up two shorts. Sure, so yeah. But you know, there's bigger fish here. That's right. th that's what we want. <laughs> and we're at that mark, Gary. Remember, I s where you and I both hooked up, um, but neither one brought it in. We're right, it was the last mark on my south line. We're, we're right over it again. And I know I'm gonna beat a dead horse here, but time and time again, we notice that we catch a really large percentage of our fluke on any given day in the same area. My guess is the bait is piled up there, the fish congregate there, and we saw that today with Gary. We were, we were hitting our fish, um, almost all of them, in the same little patch of water. And that's what Gary and I are discussing right now. They, that patch seemed to be filled with fluke and sea bass. And we're gonna short drift that, that little spot as much as we can. To drop, I opened the spool and nothing was coming out. And I, I lifted and he was back on. Gonna be a nice one. Yeah, dude. Look at that guy. Nah. Nah, you know why? He has both jigs in his mouth again. There you go. Look at that. He's got... He's got... He's got the bucktail swallowed, and he's got the teaser in, too. I wasn't losing this guy. He was just trying to help you out. Yeah. Well, he knows I've been dropping fish, so... Look at that. Woo. That's a beautiful fish. Uh, 21, your mouth's open if I close the mouth, 21. Ah, come back. Yep, yep. You back? Yeah. Uh, I don't know. Might be a fluke, I don't know. Oh, yeah, I, as you saw, Gary, the excellence of netting. So we'll title this video. I think it's a big sea bass or, you know, 16 inch sea bass. Yeah, actually a big sea bass again, really big. And I got him on one hook this time. Showing off my uh, diversification with the hooks. Yeah, it's another no doubter here, even on our 17 inch limit. So the New York State Black Sea Bass limits are three fish at 15 inches, but because we were into really such large sea bass, Gary and I decided early in the trip we would uh, impose a 17 inch limit for ourselves um the bigger fish have more meat more importantly with with this fish when i get back and you'll see it right right here coming up after i bleed the fish i notice uh what they've been eating on uh again the sand eels and that's what prompted us to start using sand eel gulp oh we are gonna catch them we are gonna catch them Here's what the, we're seeing on the bottom, sand eels. Oh, no. I have sand eel gulp. And I'm not wasting time. Switching it over, huh? I'm gonna put one on the teaser. I have plenty, plenty, so. Went 
in a second, nice and slow, because I'm I'm just getting this knot through, so I'm re-rigging Barry's rod. He's using mine. And he's hooked up. And we're gonna go try to net it. And we'll fix the rig later. Feels good? Yeah. Okay. Maybe it's all these uh, ominous skies, Gary. Maybe it's it's the witches of Flukedom coming to haunt us. Come on, let's do this. Oh, nice fish, Gary. All right, bring him up a little. Hell yeah. Nice. Woo -hoo -hoo. On the sand deal. On the sand deal. Nice job. Good, Good job. I think we got to go to the trolling motor though next drift. Yeah. Yeah. Going over two right now. That's unusual here. We're gonna we're gonna point the trolling motor that way. Oh, and just uh, put it on uh, autopilot as if we were trying to drift that way, but keep the prop on very light. Uh oh. Uh oh. Oh yeah. Coming up. Oh, okay. uh, serious? Yeah. Okay. I'll I'll just grab the big net from the front. Nice and smooth, G man. Gary, come on. Oh yeah, Gary. That's the one. Seven and a half, you said? Yeah. Alright. Lightened up? No. No? Okay, good. Keep that pressure and you're good. Beautiful fish. Oh, 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 oh Gary. Oh, look at that. Oh, man. Oh, we might have the seven and a half. Oh, you here. definitely have the seven and a half. Oh, baby. What was he on? <laughs> I, uh, the, I believe he was on the sand deal again. Oh, God. Let me let me get the uh, boga real quick. And as much as I wish that fish was on the gulp sand deal, uh, you can see here in the slow motion, it's actually on the uh, salmon gulp, not the sand deal. Zero's right there. 27, 27 and a half. Four, yeah. yeah. All right. You want to do the honors? No, it's all you. All right. We're going to do it in the back. We, we've had him out of the water, what, a minute and a half? Just make sure. Oh, <laughs> good job, good job. Sweet. Ooh. Yeah. Good. Yeah. You fish, but this is very good. <laughs> All right. Uh -oh. This is big net good. All right. Skinner, we need the big net. <laughs> you hear him? If you're gonna throw it back, bring it over here. Oh wow, he just took some line. He just took line. Yeah, got some weight. Ah, just lightened up. Oh, not as big as yours. Good job. Thank you, Gary. Go fish, go fish. Go fish, drop the net. Go fish. Thank you. Yeah, don't worry about it. I'm going to figure this out. He hit the John Skinner bucktail. A big fish, Sean. I got to go. Okay, enjoy. Bye. Bye. See, the, the two jobs interfering, Gary. And I had to sign something with the other job that I would not take any business calls, which is why I say 7 p.m. or later. This looks good. Not like the other one, but it looks like it'll pass, right? Mm, I don't know. I mean, this, the head shake was good. It might be like mine. It might be a little over 19, like your first one. Oh, it's going to pass, Gary. Yeah, good fish. 
Nice. And this time he hit the bucktail. He hit the orange. Skinner's yeah. gonna be happy. Skinner's gonna make seven cents on this fish. And yes, I'm kidding. Believe it or not, Skinner has no endorsement deal whatsoever with Gulp, which personally I think is a travesty as he single-handedly, um, you know, made that brand. I, I, who used Gulp five, six years ago? No one. Um, and now, you know, a new color comes out and the world goes crazy. And we're going to end uh, this video with one last clip of Gary bringing in another nice fluke. Um, his fifth keeper of the day, uh, it was our boat limit of fluke. Um, we also had a probably 12 keeper sea bass only keeping our limit uh, really big sea bass today up to 21 inches as always if you like these videos hit that like button and if you're not already a subscriber and you like this type of content please hit that subscribe button yeah <laughs> did you see that, that gonna be our yeah. last one? boat limit here's our boat limit he came off the hook. Ah, they're not listening. Oh, we're not keeping him anyway. Let's give him a measure. Oh, I want to dump him in front of Rick. He's going to be 22, I think. 20, 21. 21 and, a, 21 and change. Dude, nice. Good job. It's five for you. Ah, they're not going to watch, but we'll just... Woo! Oh. You want to go home? What? You want to go home? And now we can go home. All right.